Good day from the Harvest Right family. Today we're going to do a video on how to activate your candy mode. Uh, candy mode is on versions 23 or higher. Uh, the first step is we hit our customize button. Then we need to raise our drying temperature up. You need to raise it up above 135 degrees. Uh, most people are running in the 150 range. You'll notice it says candy slash high temperature mode. Um, so it's not automatically candy until we get a little later into the process. At this point, we'll hit the save button. It's telling us we're in a high temperature mode. After we hit the start, we'll get an opportunity to actually change the candy mode. So we'll hit our start. At this point, we need 15 minutes for the chamber walls to cool down. We can see our lapse time. However, if the temperature is a lot lower, we can get to candy mode a little quicker. So now we're just gonna wait our 15 minutes and then we'll get a slider bar to enable the candy mode. Okay, you can see that we've had our 15 minutes elapsed. Uh, we've now got the choice to whether we want to run a high temperature food batch or actually go into the candy mode. So we'll just hit our slider. That now puts us in the candy mode. We'll hit the, con it's telling you close your drain and then hit the continue button. At this point, you can load your food in if you have not already. And then we have the choice as to whether we want to warm our trays or skip that portion. If we hit the start button, it will automatically warm the trays. If you skip, it'll just go right into the drying mode. So for this demonstration, we're going to hit our start. Now it's going to warm the trays to the 150 degree set point that I told it to. Um, you can have additional time if you wanted to sit at 150 for 10 minutes, you could change your time. Otherwise, it'll hit the 150 and go to the mode, or in this case, it'll hit the 150, then count down for 10 minutes, and then go into candy mode. I'm going to advance past this to show you what happens next once our times are satisfied. So now we would actually be in the drying mode and this would have happened automatically. Uh, our vacuum pump would come on and we would start to see a pressure drop. It'll run through the hour and 59 minutes and most candies are completed in that period of time. Um, I'm going to advance past that to show you the end. When you come to process complete, we have a choice to no defrost, start a new batch, or defrost. With most candies, the moisture content is so little that we think we can run up to five batches without defrosting. Um, if you decided to run back-to-back -back batches, you would just simply reload and hit start new candy batch. That will maintain your previous settings. If you choose defrost, it will of course defrost the machine, instruct you on how to get ready for defrost, defrost, and then once your clock elapsed, we're back to the home screen. At this point, it's reset all of the settings, and we are now back to 125 degrees again. So had you hit uh, start new candy batch, it would have maintained your old settings. If you have any further questions, please call us. Have a great day.